Hey, what's up, guys? It's Wise Vito here, and today I have a tier list video for you guys for the support stratagems for Helldivers 2 against the Automatons. If you don't mind, like, share, and subscribe on this video. It really helps me out for the algorithm, and also um, it really does support me. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year, so let's see if we can hit that goal. So, how I'm rating this tier list currently is that S is just overall just good. There's no downsides to the weapon whatsoever. It is, um, it's just, it's just, it's just great in every scenario. There, there's no downsides to it. It's, it's almost a must pick for seven, eight, nine, uh, difficulties. A, there's some flaws, but you can overcome with practice for the most part. Um, you know, you just have to just have time with the weapon and then you can use it, use it pretty well in seven, eight, nine difficulties. Um, B is average. There, it has some niche use cases for it. But overall, it's fine. You can still use in 789. It, it just requires a lot more practice. And there's some parts where it excels at. But for the most part, it's, it's just an average weapon. C is below average. Definitely needs some buffs. Um, it has very, very, very few niche cases. Um, but for the most part, like these are weapons that definitely need to be buffed against this enemy type. Um, and of course, D is just, it's it's, it's bad. It just it either needs a complete rework or just a lot of buffs to the weapon um and otherwise i would not pick this for 789 difficulty so leave a comment down below on whether i'm right or wrong and give me your opinion about the tier list and about the weapons that you guys use in 79 difficulties so let's get straight into it uh the first one that we're going to go into is probably the, uh, the recoilless so the recoilless i'm probably going to put an a for the for the time being it's really good against like you know of course like the the turrets tanks hulks kind of like the bigger armored enemies um it's okay against striders uh you may only use it for like taking out like the turrets and stuff like that but for the most part it's it 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 does fine right the reason why i have it in a is because i there are times where if you get shot with it you get aim punch the shit out of it and you just miss your shots. Um, but otherwise, like, I think it's fine for the most part. Um, but there are definitely some other weapons in the game that I think excel more, not only crowd control, but also handling um, those 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 enemy types. Um, Anti-material rifle, which is like the, the big the big boy sniper rifle. It's 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 fantastic. It's basically kind of like kind of pre pre nerfed railgun a little bit the reason why i'm putting it in a right now is because i i would put it in an s but the problem is is that the side alignment for the for the gun is off you have to aim a little bit above of what you're hitting so that you can actually start getting like crits and stuff like that like hitting weak points and such but otherwise it's a fantastic weapon great great animal economy you can take out turrets tanks hulks i it can actually two or three shot hulk, um, uh, hulks so it's very good in that regard but like i said once the side alignment is fixed it becomes an s tier weapon against the automatons so we'll be waiting for that someday auto cannon is s tier i think it's probably the best weapon against the automatons currently um can three shot tanks if you hit them in the vents and such um can three shot turrets from far away Plus, you can fire it inside of fabricators and blow up fabricators, which is really, really nice. Um, it can two-shot hulks if you hit them directly in the head. If you bring stun grenades, this weapon becomes even better because you can throw a stun grenade at a hulk, two-tap it in the head or three-tap it in the head, blows it up, walk away. It's great. Um, the little drone um, flying things or whatever does really, really good against them. It takes a lot. It, it takes more shots though. It takes around like four or five shots to kill them, um, but it's a great anti-air. Um, it's just overall just a phenomenal weapon. It's, it's and it's and it's fairly decent against striders as well. So great animal economy, fantastic for hitting weak 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 points, and you can also kind of use it in a um, in a sort of crowd control way too. Because let's say if a bot drop happens and it drops like devastators, like kind of like the medium armor enemy types um it can two to three shot them as well so it's very very good in that regard you know sort of a fast reload to it overall 
auto cannons by far probably the best weapon against uh the automatons at this moment in time uh arc thrower i i do think is s tier um it's not really good against tanks that's the only downside and it's not really good against turrets but what it excels at is um hulks and a anything that's below a hulk basically it does really really well and does amazing crowd control and it staggers the rework to the arc thrower basically made it into a like a stun gun but a stun gun that actually does like really good damage right other than that it's fantastic if there's like sometimes that especially at 89 difficulties they'll just be just an ass ton of hulks you can stun them and keep them in place to where like they can't move while you're doing damage to them and it doesn't take that many shots to kill them it takes like maybe five to six shots if that um so very very good overall definitely use it um and, and the and has a great animal economy because it's unlimited right so definitely use it the eats is basically kind of like where the recoilless rifle is good against tanks turrets hulks striders um even the flying drones things um i think where the recoil shines more than the eats is that you get two shots with the eats and they have to wait 70 seconds but it's a fast cooldown so it's not that big of a deal but i but i would prefer the recoilless over the eats but other than that it's 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 fine so up next is going to be the ballistic shield ballistic shield is 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 probably going to be b tier um it does stop projectiles i'm still kind of running into the scenario where i'm still getting hit so in the front a bit um i wish it covered a little bit more of your character up a little bit more um if you get ragdoll sometimes it flies out of your hands and, it, and it's okay um if you put it on your back and if you're running away it does actually block some shots now it only protects your back right it should really protect your head as you're running at times but it does protect your back um i kind of wish it was better in that regard a little bit more but for the most part it, it it has gotten better since the last patch because they actually made it actually do something because before it it didn't really protect anything it was it was it was kind of garbage to be honest with you um but now they made it they made it way better like way 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 better now so it's good it's it's a solid choice the i believe this is the robot um the guard dog that with the uh, the liberator rifle it's not good um they buffed it to where you, it doesn't reload as often but it still reloads pretty often um if if they gave it kind of unlimited ammo in the way of okay if it reloads you know like they're there are those times where it in breaks i guess um but you can reload it infinitely for the most part i think i think it'd be fine the problem is is that once it's out of ammo to reload you have to stop everything that you're doing and go to a resupply and do it um and it's just not great like it 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 it, it, it still needs a little bit of my opinion um as far as the guard dog laser i think that it's c I just think that there's better backpacks out there currently that 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 you could be using um and while this thing does shoot at automatons as you're running away and it's actually and and, and it's still kind of killing stuff i just think that there are things in the game that is bullshit. random things happen and i think there's other backpacks that you could be using over over the guard dogs just in general and including the laser one but it it's, it's it's fine i just don't think it's really relevant within the it's not as relevant if as if you were to use this for terminus for example right these you know things are shooting you you have to get behind cover and then once you're behind cover it doesn't shoot anything anymore you know it's just it's just not that great against automatons supply supply pack it's fine that's great you know you can you can you can get reloads and stuff like that um it's better with guns like the railgun for example um but like i said before you're dealing with uh, mostly ranged enemies and it kind of falls off a little bit because you need more of like defense backpacks than anything else if you are going to run a backpack so 
I'm putting it here for now, but supply backpacks, refill ammo, give out stems and ammo to your teammates. You know, it's great. It's good. You know, it suffices. Um, personal backpack shield is still S tier. Um, even after the nerf, it's 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 still really, really good. It allows you to make mistakes. Um, lessens ragdoll effects whenever something hits your shield. So, um, it's, it's, it's basically more health for your character. It just, I mean, like, that's what it does, right? Um, but it did get a nerf, but it's still S tier. Still good. Still great. There's nothing really bad to say about it. Jump pack is probably A because you can get around quick. If something is running up on you, like, really quick, like a Hulk, like a Hulk or something like, or something like that, like a flame Hulk, you can get away from it pretty easily skate around the map um or, or jump around the map really to get from place to places getting samples doing secondary objectives stuff like that right moving from cover even it's really really good um but other than that you know that's that's kind of where it stops um you could use it to like run away from enemies if and and kind of break the line of sight with it because you do move really fast with it but other than that that's basically it uh, the machine gun, I think, is B tier. Um, it's good against the berserkers. It's good against medium armor um, enemies. Good against devastators. You have to be a little bit more precise with devastators. Um, it can kill tanks and kill hulks. Like it can, it can do those things. But you have to hit like the vents and stuff like that, right? But it's a great crowd control. Um, the only problem with it is that. Um, slow reload stops you from reloading um, and I wish I had like better pen but it is the medium machine gun so you know it is what it is flamethrower I think is it's, it's probably C um, flamethrower is good against um, you know if they're not shooting at you of course right little guys like little robot guys uh, berserkers and um just just like any other enemy that's not a hulk it doesn't do any damage to the hulks whatsoever it doesn't matter where you shoot them it does not do any damage to the hulks you can shoot the flamethrower in the vents of the tank and it explodes um or 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 it can kill it um so it does good in that regard but it but, but everything else though it, it just just it's it's it does good the problem isn't the the problem with the flamethrower is that you have to be close right and if you're close against the automatons, that means you're running at them, which means there's more chance of you being shot, which means there's a greater chance of you being killed, ragdolled, shot by a, a, a rocket from a rocket devastator. There's just so many other things that could happen. Um, and currently, flame or just DOT damage is not working correctly. Um, it's working correctly if you're the host, but everybody else that runs it, you know, it's just it's just not running well. Until they fix it, it's probably still going to be C tier. I guess the automatons. It's more of a terminus weapon, so I wouldn't I wouldn't use it. But it does have very very niche cases for it. Spear is D tier. Um, until they fix the lock on system, it will always be D tier. I don't care how much damage this thing does. It needs it it needs a consistency. Like it needs to have a consistency buff. Um, or fix because I think because I think that the bug or, or like the the uh, the the stratagem is completely bugged. It is probably my favorite stratagem in the game. Does not matter until they fix the lock on system. It'll it'll always be a D tier uh, because the inconsistency is just way too much to just overlook. It's just just way too way too much. Um, Stalwart I think is D tier. Um, I think this. Uh, I really do think that the Star Wars should be a primary. I, you know, it 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 does well against the little guys, um, but that's basically it. Um, it doesn't really have medium armor pin, or it doesn't have medium armor pin at all. So that means you got to hit crits. Um, I, at this point, I I honestly got to think that the Star Wars is one of the worst support strategies in the game, and it should just be moved to a, to a primary slot at this point. Um, make it so that. The, the medium machine gun does medium armor pin, and the heavy machine gun does heavy armor pin, and then, and then we're good. That's it. And you have the Star Wars as a primary. That's fine, you know. But otherwise, you know, it's just it's just not that great. 
exosuit is it's fine the problem is is that you're dealing with enemies that like to shoot at big things and that's the biggest thing on the map now before it was it the the exosuit was trash because any explosive rocket that come flying your way it would just insta kill you um i think the exosuit is way better against terminate way better um it does do work against the automatons but it's kind of like average because again they can shoot off your arms so, so you know like depending on which arm you shoot off you won't have a machine gun to handle the little guys um or we won't have a rocket to handle the more you know like the more tougher enemies um but other than that that's 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 it kind of right you know like you're just a big target in the field and since you're the biggest target in the field they're more likely to shoot you right um heavy machine gun is ass okay i i don't care what anybody says i know like i had some people in my terminated video say that it was like one of the you know like it was severely underrated it's not um third person aim is off so you have to aim down sights the reticle jumps all over the place whenever you're aiming, aiming down sights and or and in order to make this thing even serviceable you have to use a supply pack it's not good <laughs> it's not good we you know there were people calling us crazy on the on the uh or calling me crazy on, on the uh, the terminate video saying that this gun is you know really good it's you know like it's 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 you know like it's being overlooked by other things we tried it in terminates we tried it in automatons it's it, it sucks ass it's really really bad it might be a skill issue could be but i've used this thing quite a few times and i just cannot get the thing to work right it needs something it needs some sort of buff or a complete rework it should heavy armor pin for first of all low ammo uh as far as like reloads and stuff like that like the amount of clips that you get for this thing or magazine boxes that you get for this thing is low and it has a low magazine size with with that i like again i'd rather have the the regular ass machine gun than this like it needs some sort of help to make it better um and he's a complete rework, in my opinion, or just major buffs to it to to where it feels good to use. Grenade launcher C tier. I've you know it, it it. I still believe that the grenade launcher is a fine weapon to use, in kind of like that early part of the game, right, where you're leveling up and stuff like that. You're in like that four to five, the kind of six six level difficulties. I think it's fine in those areas. However, once you kind of get to the higher difficulties, it's time to put it down. Time to pick other stuff that's a little bit more precise, right? Um, that's where you have the recoilless, you know, like you have the eats, you have the anti tanks, you have the auto cannons and stuff like that, right? Quasars, laser. I even think that the laser cannon is good against the the, uh, the automatons as well. Um, rail guns, like you need to start. It like it's good against crowds, but it, the thing is, is that sometimes whenever you get hit you get aim punched and whenever you get aim punched you get aim punched really hard in this game to where like even a grenade launcher becomes inaccurate like very much inaccurate like you almost have to get the drop on the group to begin with but sometimes that doesn't happen right so if they made it to where you didn't get aim punch as much then that then fine whatever right like i think it'd be serviceable Right, it you know like it it would probably go up a tier, right? But there are other things in the game currently that just do a way better job at not only handling groups, but also like the heavy enemies. And the grenade launcher is good at handling groups, but it's not really good at handling like the bigger enemies, in my opinion. Quasar cannon, arguably still one of the best weapons in the game, or if the or if not the most, but or the best support weapon in the game currently. Unlimited ammo long or like a not even a long charge up time and uh decently quick cooldown for basically a gun that's basically the recoilless with unlimited ammo right and there's no dent and by the way like there's no fall off with this weapon with a recoilless and an eats whenever you shoot it the rocket will sometimes just kind of like drift off and then start to fall down right the fall off arc of the actual gun so sometimes you have to aim up a little bit more um, with the quasar, like you don't have to worry about that. You can just point, aim, and shoot at something, and the and the actual ball of energy, or whatever you want to call it, right? Like the actual sphere that it shoots out, will just go in a complete straight line. So it's 
you know, like you can basically, you know, like sometimes you have to lead with it. That's fine, whatever, right? If something's moving right to left, but if you're aiming something sh like straight on from like across the map, you'll know that whenever that thing hits, it'll hit, it'll hit whatever you're pointing at, right? Compared to eats and recoils, where you have to kind of arc it, right? Because otherwise, like the rocket won't won't hit its target; it'll hit right in front of the target, right? Um, by the by, otherwise, it's it's by far probably like one of the best stratagems, if not the best stratagem in the game currently, for both terminids and and um, automatons. But it's but it's good against automatons, and the fact that you can bring a scorcher with this as well. And if you hit the back of a turret or hit the back of a tank, um, and and the and the tank and the turret is on fire. You can bring out a scorcher and ta and just and, and just shoot it once and it'll explode. So quasar cannon shot first to to open it up. Shoot it once. Okay, it's on fire. Bring out the scorcher. Tap it once. No matter where you hit it, it'll explode it. It'll kill it. So it's 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 a very good weapon to pair with the scorcher. Laser cannon's a tier, in my opinion. Um, if you bring stun grenades, it makes it very very good. Um, but you need to bring stun grenades for it, right? Um, it's it deals fantastic work against turrets, tanks, striders surprisingly, and um, hulks. If you throw a if you throw a stun grenade at a hulk, it'll stop it completely. Where you can just line up the headshot, pull the trigger, and, and just start melting its head, and it'll, and it'll kill it pretty quick. It's good against devastators, the medium armor enemies. It just does really it does really good working it against them. Does really good work against um, tanks and turrets if you hit them in the um, in the vents. Does really quick work, and the little eye slit of the um, the the Strider. If you point the laser gun or like just lay down, kill the turrets underneath the, the head of the uh, the um, the Strider. Right. If you lay down, look up after killing the turrets underneath the head of the um, the Strider. If you if you aim up into like the little slit of the strider then once you aim there you can literally just beam into like the little slit and you can kill it pretty quick and again like it does really 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 good work um i guess you automatons if you're precise enough so and the railgun i think is a tier against automatons um i do think that the railgun does need a buff okay like i'm not saying that it's like really really good or whatever right it's it's better with a supply pack and needs some setup to it right but once you have the setup it's really 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 good um it can still two shot hulks in the face like two three shot hulks in the face um once you're behind a tank it can two three it can sort of three shot them a little bit but of course like you need 80 percent it can still armor pin it's it's more of like a medium armor buster than a heavy armor buster, right? Because I think that the nerfs to the railgun has actually changed the weapon into more of a medium armor. Anything that's medium armor in the game, it completely annihilates. But once you go into the heavy armored range, you have to kind of be a little bit more precise with it in order in order for it to be good, right? And with that being said, you know, there's a lot of enemies in the automatons that once you hit their weak points or hit anything that's like a head or like the vents or whatever then it does really good against them but for the most part you can aim anywhere on the preferably still in the head but anywhere on the on the uh, the automatons medium armor wise and you'll be able to eat through that on on unsafe mode but it is a risky weapon because it could blow up in your hands if you're not careful so it does require some some practice so what do you guys think of my tier list? Where am I right? Where am I wrong? Please leave a comment down below. And like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Share this with your friends. Kind of get the conversation going in the comment section. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.